Okay, so apparently I can marry anyone who I have a uh, support with. So basically, I can choose to marry Mercedes if I do build support. Uh, if I don't get anyone else. some exploring. Oh boy, lots of... Professor, thanks for stopping by. You got her protecting me. It's not bad. I was even told I'd be cleared for service starting tomorrow. Besides, I got this scar fighting for you. It's almost like a medal or something. Didn't you want to kill me? I certainly meant it when I said it, but when I thought you were going to be killed for real, my reflexes kicked in. I reacted without thinking. It doesn't mean I've stopped being jealous of you. But come on, I can't help but look up to you. If I'd had the guts to run away from home, I wonder if I would have cared as little about my crest as you do yours. You didn't have the courage? No. But if I thought I could have escaped, I would have tried. I'd leave behind House Gautier, and the life of a nobleman, and anybody who knew I had a crest. Our home is to the very north of the kingdom. Just across the mountains from us is land inhabited by foreigners to Fodlan. It once belonged to Fargus, but now that the kingdom has collapsed, it's only a matter of time until fighting breaks out. Anyway, that land has been contested for centuries, and all that time, it has fallen to House Gautier to protect it. Actually, our Lance of Ruin has been doing most of the protecting. But it was stolen, I remember, five years ago. 
Those were dangerous times. One wrong step, and we would have lost our relic to the church. I guess those very situations are why my family values crests so much. Since I bear a crest, my parents made sure I was never left wanting. My older brother didn't have one, and so when I was born, he was pushed aside. You know, he once shoved me in a well. He left me on the mountainside in the middle of winter, too. You didn't try to get him back? Even as a little kid, I understood why he was like that. My mere existence stole everything from him. I have no right to complain when I am surrounded by people who would give anything to bear a crest, but do not. Now, women smile at me for the same reason my parents adore me, and my brother wanted me dead. And I have to meet them all with a smile and a wink, because I have a crest. So what you really feel toward women is... The women who just want to use me to become nobility? Hatred's probably the right word. Though, in the end, that's just an easy answer. I don't even know how I truly feel about it all. Anyway, it was pretty unreasonable of me to resent you. I'm really sorry about that. And I want to say thank you, Professor. Seriously, thank you. For what? Before I met you, I'd gone my whole life not knowing there was another way for me to live. So, from the bottom of my heart, I'm glad we met. Nice. Professor? You look down. Do you remember what we talked about before? About doing my best to not do my best? Well, I've been pretty busy recently, and despite my best efforts, I've been trying way too hard. I was busy all day yesterday with training and work. I just couldn't help myself. That's why I decided to take a day off today. It's just... Now that I have a day off, I don't know what to do with myself. Please, you have to help me. What should I do? Have a nap. I tried that. I couldn't calm down enough to fall asleep. I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm cut out for not doing my best. Oh! You're a professor. You must know some secret technique for deep relaxation, right? If you do, please teach me. I'm begging you. I'm at my wit's end. Uh, I tried fishing. Have a cup of tea. <laughs> Got it. I'll try that right now. Mm, this candy is so sweet and delicious. And it goes so well with piping hot tea. Oh, and speaking of the tea, your brewing skills are incredible. I'd love to be able to make such nice tea, but... Oh, Professor, will you teach me how to brew tea like this? I'll do my best to learn, and then I'll make delicious tea for you as thanks. It is doing your... Is this doing your best? Oh, uh, sorry. Back to my old tricks, it seems. So, oh, why is it so difficult to not do my best? Try and try to not try, but it just doesn't work. Just be yourself. Professor? You're right. Doing nothing is just not my style. To be myself, I've got to do my best every day. That's the spirit. Okay. Then you really must teach me how to make such delicious tea. You will, won't you? Please. Oh, and also, well, thank you. You've listened to me and helped me face my troubles. <laughs> now I feel like I can talk to you about anything. Honestly, 
I wish we could go on drinking tea like this forever. And all the support conversations are really good. The writers really know what they're doing. Oh, Linhart. Apologies for bothering you so late. I just really wanted to speak with you. I'm happy to listen. Thank you. You see, I've been feeling conflicted about my future. It may seem petty to worry about such things in the middle of a war like this. I don't think it's petty. This isn't something I open up about with many people. Feeling such a sense of inner turmoil while a war rages on, and others are fighting with all they have, well, it feels a little selfish. The truth is, I've wanted to be a knight ever since I was a small child. Not just any knight, like one you might find serving within the castle guard, but a true knight, one serving a master. However, my father has always had different plans for me. He wants me to marry, for the benefit of the Galatea family. You don't have to do what you don't want to. Defying my father feels... wrong. I've seen how he struggled over the years. His burden has always been far greater than any I've had to bear myself. While he fed me extravagant meals, he subsisted on meager portions and watered down soups. He never once complained. Even though he must have been starving. Knowing his sacrifices, I've never been able to tell him of my dream of becoming a knight. Now that this war has begun, my father has allowed me to fight for my homeland. But even if I do become a knight, I feel an unease deep within me. I fear I will never escape this guilt I carry. That I have shunned my duty as a noble. Could you not find a way to do both? To follow both my dream and my duty? I... I had never considered that as an option. Perhaps there is a way. <laughs> Even with the academy days long behind us, you're still a professor through and through. Always listening to others' troubles and offering up your wisdom. I really am grateful for all that you do for us, Professor. I hope you'll always be here as a guide to everyone. I know I myself would appreciate that deeply. Nice. Can I add support with her? Yeah, I can add support with her as well. Alright, three add supports. Oh boy, what the? Am I supposed to get a lost item? Professor. Hey, Ash. Oh, hey, Professor. You're chipper as ever. Actually, I ran into that thief while I was shopping just now. Thief? The one that took that book? Maybe you don't remember. It's been quite a while. The man who stole the book from that market stall. 
I saw him on the street with his kid. They were both so grateful. It's a really nice feeling. I'm glad it all worked out. Yeah, but... Uh, it did seem like they were still having trouble getting by. I guess what you said to me back then was right. My actions didn't really solve the problem. I can't help everyone no matter how much I try. If I had the money or power, maybe. But I don't. You'll get there. No need to rush. You know, a long time ago, Lenato said nearly the same thing to me. I think it was when I tried to look after the horses all on my own. <laughs> I really messed that up. He said, you're not quite ready for this yet, but there's no need to rush. I know I can't help very many people right now, but I think doing what I can for those I see in front of me is still worthwhile. I have to believe that, at least. That's just like you, Ash. <laughs> Thanks. That's reassuring to hear. What about you, Professor? Has anything been troubling you lately? I'd be happy to help, as long as it's not looking after horses. <laughs> you might not want to trust me with that. Nothing in particular has been bothering me, no. I don't be that way. There's gotta be something. It doesn't have to be serious. I genuinely enjoy helping people. It's a great feeling making someone smile. So if there's anything I can do for you, I want to do it. Because I care about you. That's really kind. <laughs> you think so? It's just what anyone would do, really. So what'll it be? How can I help? Just chat with me a little a while longer. I'm happy to, if that's what you'd like. Finally, I notched a win against you. I almost had you. True, it was a narrow victory. When we spar, I feel like I'm revisiting my past. Why? It's like training with my brother. He always won, always, and died before I could win a single bout. From the first time I held a sword, all I wanted was to surpass him, and that's what drove me to become so strong. Perhaps it's absurd to say such a thing, but I've spent all these years training for a duel with a corpse. It's not absurd. Perhaps not. I can never again spar with my brother. Not unless he climbs out of his grave. Still, I continue my endless pursuit of strength. Maybe because I have a new opponent to measure myself against. Me, obviously. You, obviously. <laughs> I beat you this time, but when we next cross swords, who knows what might happen. It was a close match, not a crushing victory. I know that I can do better. I will surpass you in strength, and then I'll become stronger still. And then what? And then, when this war is over, I won't have as many chances to swim my sword. I can hardly imagine that. Anyway, thank you for helping me find an answer to the question you asked all those years ago.
I've been doing um, since I finished up with all these supports, I'm gonna go and do some monastery exploring. Yeah, so far I have three marriage options right now. So, uh, yeah. Next video is just gonna be me uh, going to all these places and talking to all these people. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.